Okay, here we go, guys. Torgil! Forget about Torfin, I'm here for Torgil! <laughs> you jävlar! Yeah, but it's awesome, last episode, right? He's, he's appearing here from the water behind cute, like, oh, I got you! <laughs> That's what I'm here for, I wanna see this episode. You know, it starts, yeah. I wanna see, you know, Torgil. Come up from the water behind Knut like, oh, I got you now, boy. You little boy. Yeah, he was a tiny little cutie right there. I remember, I remember back in the days. Uh, just love flying. What's happening? It's probably opening as one. Well. Okay, who's this? What? Maybe it's first. It was fun. Maybe it's Torgil's first fight. Okay. Oh, this kid here. Wow, there's a brutal man. He's crying here. Tomato use everywhere. Oh, yeah, it's him. Okay. His first. Uh... Man, this this is a br episode brutal now, man. The hands are flying here. Yeah, just laughing at him. Oh my god, this episode, that's not fun anymore. Yeah, this episode's not fun. <laughs> His legs, my god, this episode is brutal. And now some guy is crying here, and my god, yeah, you don't show the dude to Jesus Christ, man. Not some guy is like crying with the blood. Oh, that guy we saw with um, Hunting Aider or someone, yeah, he's like. His hand is off there. Still fighting with his axe. I guess someone is. No, he can't move. Yeah, he's too afraid to move. My god, this start here? They're getting owned here by Knut's army? Yeah, this guy has no chance, man. He's like swinging his axe like crazy. And he comes Snake, I guess, though. Yeah, Urm! Snake comes in here, though. Anneke! Man, heads of fly episode. I guess next to get some morale here by owning him. Yeah, Snake is bad, I guess. Snake is owned by being better. <laughs> Snake is coming to the own stupid by. It's like, whatever! Because now they all feed him, though, yeah. Niger or. Yeah, with Knut's plan though. I mean, uh, Torgil, I mean. But this actually might work better for him though, if all the other Vikings start running after him. This might be better for him if all the armies of Knut start running around after them. But easy to get too Knut. Then, now of course, Shetil is pissed off here. Yeah, Shetil is all like, you're running, you cowards. He's like, yeah, we're pretty, we pretty toast, man. <laughs> this is last day. We're pretty dead. We're pretty dead. We're pretty dead. We're gonna die, bro. We're gonna die. Hmm. Man, this song was really, really brutal. This first uh, <laughs> two, three minutes. Oh my god. What I care about is uh, the guy in the water. I want to get to his son, man. I want to get to Turia. What's happening in the water? Uh, Knut just stands there. Well, someone coming against Shetil. He might die then. Oh, the habit flies? Okay, does he live? Maybe, I don't know. Does he, is he be alive? Habit flies. Yeah, now they kind of just running up the troops, right? So, I think Turgil's plan seems to be too slow here. Like he hasn't arrived yet, even though, um, yeah, he hasn't arrived yet. But basically, the whole army is already run away now. So, yeah, the the distraction is gone, I guess. Well, I mean, to some extent, though, Knut is doesn't have many guys around him. Here he comes! Finally, he comes! Yes, come on, this is what I want to see. The best guy, Turgil, 
He comes out of the water here. See you just standing in the far back, right? Only have two guards with him. So yeah. So here we go. Keeps gonna own him. Maybe, let's see here. I don't think he screams too. <laughs> like, Wah! Yeah, he does like a scream too! You go to a gill! I'm a Turgil style, I'm a Turgil to win, man. Come on, Turgil! Probably opening now, probably. Have seen the opening yet? Yeah, I knew it, yeah. <laughs> I knew it, never seen the opening yet. Yeah, there we go, the opening. There we go, the opening, of course. And Turgil comes flying there, and he comes in there with the sword, baby. Um, yeah. I think it's gonna fail, of course, right? To be really cute dice here, but um, it would be pretty cool if cute actually dies in a sense, then the two gil wins. But I mean, even if cute dies, so they still will lose, right? Yeah, they will still lose. Um, I mean, the army is always over, right? But uh, yeah, it'd be interesting if he kill Knute. Now, this is based on somewhat historical fiction, right? Knute is a real person. Knute is the worst one. He's a real person. He didn't die here, so <laughs> I have the spoiler here. I know that Knut didn't die here in this fight here, so we got that spoiler there, but yeah, in that sense. Yeah, that tour gets jump in, man. That was beautiful. Uh, that was cool. But I guess he's gonna be. Yeah, somehow stop by the Or I mean, I, I can see maybe hitting Knut, you know, like he, maybe he hurts Knut, like he. Maybe Knut gets a scar or something, yeah, like Knut gets a little uh, wounded, but it's not like an actual big deal or whatever. It's probably gonna be the result that he managed to hurt Knut. That, that's probably how it ends, right? Like he's he's gonna hurt him to some extent, right? Uh, I would guess that's gonna be the thing. Uh... Yeah, here we go, he kills God. Boat guard actually. <laughs> man, Turgil is best man! Turgil is boat guard, so you slice both of them in one attack. Yeah, <laughs> he stands here, all muscular, no armor on him. He's like, come on, Prince, yeah. And his sword is broken, I think, from Knut here. Man, Knut is like, my god, this guy is badass. And he's all afraid here, he's like, oh my god, this guy is too badass. We're just talking when you need him, yeah, it's like, my god. Yeah, he don't, it's on him, the sword is broken anyway. Ah, oh, like, throws his uh, mantle in his face. I see, I see, I see. Man, see, I want Turgil to win. You go, Turgil. Come on. Okay, he kicks him down. See, he actually probably should kill him immediately. If he quick... Uh, <laughs> so now he actually got Knut on the ground here. He probably could actually kill him if he wasn't all showboating. Yeah. He has to showboat and be like, ho, 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 before he does it. Is it probably the guy that left earlier, the advisor? Yeah, yeah it's like he's back here. Threw a sword at him, and now he tackles him. Okay, he's such a strange thing. Now that doesn't work though. Torgel is freaking giant, man. Torgel is a freaking real walking man. He's the biggest guy they have in the whole anime, except Torgel, of course, but in this season. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I guess his eye. Oh my god, Torgel, man, you bastard. He gets up there, like, yeah, gets his eye there. Classic, man. Eye gouging. Oh, man, it's brutal. Oh, man. Oh. This episode is freaking hardcore brutal, man. Definitely, but it's Hulk episode never had this anime, I think. Yeah, so this guy still with one eye left, though. And yeah, uh, Torgil got it. <laughs> he pushes it out, he's <laughs> so. Yeah, now that I want to protect Heka, yeah, protect the prince, right? He's gonna go burst again, he screams. I mean, it's it, it, not happening because Torgil is crazy, right? Yeah. He's gonna swim away, swim away, <laughs> he's gonna swim away again? God damn it, Turgil. So at least he hurt the other guy a bit. Yeah, you're a failure, man. He could have hurt Knut better. Yeah, it's a little failure. He didn't, not only didn't kill him, he didn't even like really hurt him. He just kind of made him afraid a bit. But now he swims away again, though. <laughs> he's a very... He's an amphibian guy, man. He's because he swims away again. I do like that, though. He's a freaking hardcore walking guy. He swims in the water. He's like, you can never catch me! <laughs> yeah. But, man, you know, he doesn't have armor on him. Yeah, he's the, he's the only guy not wearing any armor. He's just muscular, man. Yeah. And now Snake is like, wait, what? Someone backstabbed Knut? We should have known about that. Yeah, they haven't really planned this strategy out very well. Snake survives now as, yeah, they all turn around to save Knut, right? I mean, 
Which is fine, but I guess they don't know that, so they're all running, they're all running back again. Shit is dead. Probably. Yeah, he did his face, right? We saw his hand fly. He maybe isn't dead dead yet. Uh, Snacks gonna carry him back. But he's probably gonna die. I feel like shit, he will probably die from this thing. He's like a head injury. And he's a bit of a big guy to shit, really. I can't even carry him. He looks dead though. I don't know. Like, there's no response to him when Snake touched him. Um, okay. Hmm. But yeah, Shetty lost most of his guys, right? It's like not much else you can say, really. Torgil failed. It's a lot of dead body parts. Um. Oh yeah, still alive on Hida? I guess so. Yeah, still alive in the cart. Forgot about that. This to me is so irrelevant, right? The whole Anita thing. I mean, I keep saying it, I don't care. No, but it's just like, come on, she's so injured. She's in the cart. Who really cares at this point? She's dead. Come on. Just get over it. Yeah, this been this is actually dragged out. Her husband said she did Gordar. It's like dragged out for like three, four episodes, right? I'm a little bit like, whatever, honestly, right? I'm a little bit like. She's so obviously gonna die, this thing. Like, can we just, um... I heard there was some Vinland trailer at Mappa yesterday, but I haven't seen it. I only watched that Yusuke Kaisen, right? I haven't seen the... No, I haven't seen the... This thing, really. Lying here. Hmm. It's good that they had the Leif reunion list. That was the last episode, yeah. We got that Leif uh, tour film reunion. I don't see Leif here. The bill is cutting my way, though. Yeah, so you can see Gordor and her boy right in the heaven or whatever, in the Elysium. Yeah, so I can sit back like a really dream here. Another kid now? Yeah, I guess so, she's dreaming they have a daughter maybe, I guess, in the dream. Hmm. She finally pass away, right? They need another son. Yeah. Yeah, she finally. I on Hida finally passes away. Ain't like she's screaming. It's uh, you know. Yeah. What about the kid and so on? But I mean, she was really injured, and they also take her on this car to, you know, so it's gonna... What? She speaks back to them? Oh god, I said to go again. Like, uh... Okay, we're all dead. Yeah. No, but she's like seeing heaven or whatever. Yeah, she's like seeing the light, man. She's just like... No, but I see my kid here. We're in heaven, basically. Yeah. It's not like... She would definitely die, but it's not like weird fake thing where she had like, her eyes and then she wasn't dead. Because she, now she's keep talking to him. What? Yeah, 
and two of it is all like peace. But now she did definitely like this time. Second time I lost two dice. Okay, yeah. Two for the like, Give her hard. Yeah, two for the like, We're gonna give her hard. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, now it comes, there it comes, Daisuke! There it comes, now he's like, no, I love you! Daisuke! Here it comes, Aenor is all like, I love you! Daisuke on hate! Yes, of course, and Toothin is giving, okay, now we've got way more brutal level, Toothin is giving her CPR, you know, he's giving her the heart beating and so well. yeah, now we've got more emotional here, and, uh, you know, he's doing that thing, Aenor is screaming he loves her, yeah, there we got a little more. The whole cart is like bumping around. Okay, but now she's definitely dead. And Tufin has given up here. The wind blows everything away. Yeah. I couldn't bring her to Vinland, but all the guys with the Vinland. It's all like, I gotta get out, you know, over the sea. Come with us to Vinland. Yeah, of course, Aina's crying as well, of course. You're gonna bury her? Now we hear like someone that's. Well. Maybe it's Snake? Yeah, he's carrying Shetel, right? That is what I'm hearing. The hearing. <laughs> it was a cart for shit instead. But not Einar might kill shit then. He might go crazy, right? It's shit is fault of her or the inner that she died, so. Yeah, exactly. Now he, now he's probably gonna kill shit, right? Oh, he punches Turfin. He's like, no Turfin, I'm killing this guy. Okay, maybe Turfin can knock him down. Yeah, Turfin can punch him instead. Turfin is gonna like knock Inner down, I guess, or something. He's gonna, like, he's gonna like, take him down, something. Man, this episode, man, now his anus crying here instead. He's like totally crying on the ground instead. Uh, yeah. Snake just looks at them. He's like, yeah, bros. That shit happened. Um, 
Yeah, what an episode. Yeah, no talking to too, yeah. <sighs> what an episode. Yeah, no, he's like crying. This tries, man. This is like super long, dried out, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, it's the op uh, mid scene now? Yeah, that was super late if I had the commercial break. Throwing down now, dude. Weird. Maybe it's a longer episode. I don't know. That's super, super late. Usually we have like 10 minutes earlier, that kind of commercial break. Yeah, so now they buried her, I guess. Yeah, Knud never met Torfinia War. Ringing about the wind, like I suppose, staring at the ocean. He wants to be freedom, you know, he's doing that thing. Yeah, I want to go to the ocean and be free. Going to feel. To Knut. We need to see if he goes up to Knut's army or whatever they are now. to see you right yeah now it's back to the whole remember your kids they're on Iceland the one back on Iceland and his ear is slightly half there yeah. <laughs> it's a good detail yeah he got lost in half the area that's true Stay alive, right? No matter what. Hmm. Yeah, Torfin. Last very serious moment when he was up there. But yeah, longer episode because they had the commercial break much later too. So it's like one half minute left at the ending, right? Um, but let's review it as well. So um, yeah, that was like a very sad thing when he dies. 
But I do think that, and I say here, I'm going to be all soft now, it's that good though. Uh, I do think the issue is that, um, you just have a Gorda, right? It's been so prolonged, right? Like, we, she could have died like three episodes ago, whatever, you know what I mean? After her beating, that was two episodes ago, yeah. Um, it's it like, her, not, not only her death like massive, the whole Gorda thing, but even after that, right? Uh, that they keep having her like half as alive, like two, three episodes. Uh, it doesn't really help, and then that same she can like close her eyes, it's like, hey, no, Torfrey, she closed her eyes. You think it's gonna be over, right? But instead she's like, oh, actually, and she keeps going up, up again, and it's like three more lines. Same thing with Gordor, yeah, he also looks like he's gonna die, and then suddenly he's up again, and it's another like four or five minutes of him dying. Uh, I don't know, I'm just thinking that maybe the manga is better here, because... It is sad, but I do feel that it doesn't help that it's such a long scene, right? You know what I mean? I think it would be better if it was like five minutes instead of being ten minutes. Um, because her like getting up again thing just felt like, oh wait, she's still alive? I thought, I thought she died there. Say it was Gordon. I'm like, what, didn't, she, didn't she die? Uh, but otherwise, of course, I was going to put it out for her. I, wanna be, I, say, I think it's too long. But anyway, but otherwise, yeah, it's like a sad scene, right? Especially when Aenor and Torfin started, uh, Torfin started giving her CPR. That was really sad, right? Aenor just cried, like, I love you. So, yeah, that was really sad. But that's kind of what I mean, though. If that scene had been like five minutes earlier, I think that scene would have hit better, honestly. I think, it, yeah, uh, I would say so. But anyway, it was just sad and so on, right? Let's talk about the best of them. The Turgil! Yes! The Vikings! That was the best part, man. That's what I'm here for, guy. I care about that. <laughs> no, sorry! I'm so not here, fans, but come on, we all know she's gonna die, okay? What I'm here for is the badass Viking, baby! Uh, that was cool, though. It was cool, he jumped up there, he, like, one, two shot the, yeah, but no, he won to the two guys, that's what I mean. He he did one sword sweep, and he kills both the gods! <laughs> that guy is OP, man! He, he yeah, he one sword, and two people in one sword attack, that doesn't make any sense, it's probably almost impossible to do. It isn't that distant, if you said next shoulder, but they were kind of swaying, he's like swinging in the <laughs> yeah, it seems really hard in real life to do that. Uh, but anyway, he's being a badass, that was awesome. And then of course Knut was all checking his boots, Knut was like peeing his pants, right? That was great too, seeing Knut being all like, oh my god, this guy is like badass, man. And uh, then we had a wheel, oh god, when he advised comes in, then with the ice scene, yeah, that was brutal, he comes in there with the br brutality. Freaking brutality, that was brutal. That was crazy brutal. But I do <laughs> I do wish of course he would done more effect to Knut, yeah. Like I said before that started, right? I assumed that Knut was gonna die, just given the historic one. But I hope that Knut was gonna get a little bit old, you know, maybe losing a finger or something, you know what I mean? Getting some kind of flesh wound, maybe getting a scar on his face. I was hoping the Knut's gonna get a little bit owned, but it really felt like Knut only got kind of blunt drama and there wasn't really anything there. Yeah, a little disappointed that Torgi at least didn't like hurt him and like I said, like losing a finger or maybe cutting his rib or something, you know what I mean? Like something that wouldn't kill him, but okay, he's gonna have that scar, you know. Uh, that's important. But at least Torgi survives, so he can return later, I guess. Yeah, he, can, he actually managed to swim away from it. He just jumped into the water and swam. And he's the only guy basically fighting the whole fight, right? The whole war thing. In, uh, in just like no armor, yeah, he's like coming at the flixing, very muscular, then he's like swims away and actually doesn't look too unbelievable because, you know, everyone else is wearing an armor, right? Everyone else is wearing some kind of heavy armor and so on, shame is that they, can, so they can't swim after him, he's the only guy that is like not wearing that, of course they could remove the armor, but still, he's, he has like a good lead, right? They have to take off all their clothing and all that, because they, they all have like really pretty heavy stuff on them, right? So it's hard to swim with that. So, uh, yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's jumps in the water again and escapes. I wonder if he's gonna return, I don't know. I don't think, I, I think the next episode is gonna be like another arc, right, you know? Torgil or whatever, uh, it's probably not gonna come back again. Yeah, Torgil, Chetil, the, the bro and so on. Ormar, they, they probably won't return again. I don't think so, Snake and so on, yeah. It does feel like these uh, Chetil farm guys are gonna be out of the, of the anime now. Maybe? Unless Torgil appears later as like some kind of assassin attempt, maybe or something. But it does feel that like they're gonna get out now and it's gonna be a new arc, right? Where the journey to Vinland or something, sort of that, something like that. So I guess it's gonna be one arc before that, probably. So like, I don't know, Knut. Uh, maybe Knut and uh, uh, Torfin meeting up or something and then they get some resources and then they leave or something. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Like some kind of. Getting getting the boats or something, yeah, getting a navy or I don't know, trying to get some people or money or something. 
Something like that. Your resources. Um, probably. And, but anyway, hope you like the video. Subscribe. Slap button. Have a great day.